night before Christmas, and all through the house, people were starving for fried chicken. So let's get to fucking work. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to Sig's Kitchen. I'm Big Sig, and today we're going to do a short but great video. So everybody knows it's the holiday season, and we're all fried. So today we're making fried chicken. Ingredients, hot sauce, buttermilk, flour, Italian seasoning, adobo, paprika, chili powder, black pepper, and salt. And drum roll, please. Drumsticks. And most of all, the most important ingredient of the day, beer. All right, so you guys all saw the ingredients that we're working with today. I had to go ahead and prep my chicken ahead of time because you need this to marinate for at least four hours. We went ahead and did this overnight so that we could do this cook today. And all we have here is we have some buttermilk, some hot sauce. We seasoned the chicken with paprika, some chili powder, some salt and pepper. Just let it marinate in those juices. This is what the chicken will look like during the marinating process. And then we're gonna get ready to do our flour dip. And then they're going for a swim in the pool. Let's get ready to season our flour. We have about two cups of flour. Make sure you use a good flour. I love King Arthur's, mostly because I'm the king of the house. So royalty respects royalty, okay? So we're gonna season this flour. We're gonna take some chili powder. We're gonna throw in about a tablespoon. We're gonna do that with everything we got here. So we got fucking chili won't close. We're gonna take this paprika. We're gonna add about a tablespoon there. Take some black pepper, about a tablespoon. We're gonna take the magic in the adobo. If you don't use adobo dough, you can use garlic powder, onion powder. This is like a magical genie came down and blessed the world with flavor. So we're gonna do about tablespoon of that. I'm gonna throw in some Italian seasoning. Use whatever herbs you like. Time goes really well. A little bit of salt. About a tablespoon. We're gonna take the whisk and we're just gonna whisk it. Whisk it real good. Okay. There, there, there. There's the flavor. Okay. All right. Okay. You got your marinade and your chicken. It's not really much to it. Take off the wedding ring. It's frowned upon when you lose it and somebody bites into it, breaks a fucking tooth. So, we're going to take our beautiful soaked drumsticks. Let's give them a quick toss. You're going to take your drumstick. Throw it into the flour. Coat it beautifully. We're gonna let it sit there. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do this to all of them. To make this more fun, you put your hand upon your hip. When you dip, we dip, I dip. Put my hand up on your hip. So when you're coating your, your chicken, make sure that your flour sticks, otherwise you just have a drum. Make sure that you knock off all the excess. Remember, nobody's gonna beat that meat like you. So now that we have our chicken coated, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, drain the excess off, and then lick your fingers. And don't, you'll die. We're gonna take our drumsticks now, even though they're looking great. You don't have to do this next part. I like to. We're gonna go back into our dredge and then a second coat of flour. So don't be chicken. It's okay to double dip your chicken. This is going to give you that extra crispy skin. 
We got our oil heated. You want to be at about 350 degrees. And we're going to cook this chicken. Drumsticks these size are going to take anywhere from 15 to 18 minutes. And voila. We're done. All right. So now that our oil is nice and hot, the next step you're going to do is you're going to take your wedding ring. You're going to put it back on. Nobody wants to get divorced during Christmas because they didn't see you wearing your band. We're going to take our beer. We're going to go over here. We're going to take this bad boy. We're going to bring it in nice and slow. We're going to drop it like it's hot. We're going to take it. We're going to drop it. We're going to take it. Drop it. We're going to do five of these to start because we got a lot to go. And that's it. We're going to let those cook till golden, crispy, brown, internal temperature of 160 degrees. It's going to melt our face off when we bite into it, but it's going to be worth every second. Stay tuned. We'll get back to you when the chicken's almost ready. So now that our chicken is done, we've already taken a couple out. We're just going to drain off the excess oil. We're going to place them down here to dry. And man, are they already looking beautiful. We're going to finish up the rest of these. We're going to throw a couple more into the pot. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to let you watch me eat my chicken. I'm going to have another beer. And in the meantime, I'm going to have a beer that led up to the beer that you're going to see me drink. because. Editing takes time, so bear with me. So we've been letting these cool, but I bet you they're still smoking hot. I'm going to take a bite of one of these. It is fucking burning my fingers, so I can only imagine what it's going to do to my mouth. We're going to wait another minute. I'm going to have a sip of beer. All right, so this is still hot, but I got to take a bite. And I want you to just look at this. If this isn't perfect fried chicken, I don't know what is. We're gonna go in for that. Mm, goodness, ready? Mm. I know, I'm Crunchy. Goofy. Hot as a son of a bitch. Delicious. There's really not much more to it. It's just good home cooked food. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. And if you don't like fried chicken, get the fuck out of my kitchen.